And here we have an off delay timer indicated by TOF. It also says here off delay and I identified it that way. Just like our last timer, we're set for 10 seconds. Because we have a time base of 0.1, we just move our decimal place over 1, so this 100 turns into a 10. We have the same kind of bits, an enable bit, a done bit, and a timer timing bit. Now I also opened up our data table, so you could watch these bits down here, as well as here, changing state. We're looking at T4 colon 10, and you can see here that that is the address of our timer. Now an off delay works opposite of an on delay. You can see I'm holding the switch down. The enable bit is true, just like the on delay. The enable bit is true when the timer is true. But the timer timing bit is false, because this timer does not start its timing cycle until it goes back to a false condition. You also notice that the done bit change state. The done bit is true. That done bit will remain true until the preset equals the accumulation value. So when I release the switch, our timer is timing. You can see the accumulation here and here. Our done bit is still true until these two are equal. Then it will go false. I'll do it again. Timer is timing, so our timer timing bit is true. Our enable bit, which is here, is false because I'm not activating the timer with this switch right now. Allowing it to cycle. And done.